want to talk on span and g. Span and g. I want to talk on span and g. This is span. Span and g. Span and g. Span and g. Span and g. Before I take you to span and g, let's talk about inline elements and block elements and that is the topic for you that we use span and dig to explain inline elements and block elements all these are containers we have so many containers special containers in html but container is just a wrapper just like a wrapper when you wrap your tags together it helps you to wrap up others html tags and it has a lot of benefits. For example, you get advanced level HTML. When we start using CSS, CSS stands for cascading style sheet. It's help you to design, you have to style your HTML. Most times you want some group of tags to inherit a particular style or a container. But now we help you to wrap them up and only them inherit that particular style that you just want them to inherit. So container is good, but it's help to wrap up some elements into an overall container you know that kind of a uh, situation just like when you put everything in one place you maybe you won't have put all them together there and paint the room you know you want the room to have one particular paint or one particular color one particular style so everything in that room should have that style the whole thing in the room the room now is found as a container on website the two most popular container in html is div and span we are going to talk about an html element the <coughs> the div element display in line uh, the div element and spam element we will use inline element and block element to explain them what i mean by inline element and block element inline element are those elements that when they stay in one place and now they can they can't take up the whole space for example a whole line a particular line they will take up the space they will only take the space that they needed that is inline element takes up only the space that they reach that they needed and that is why two inline elements can stick together comfortably, as we are going to see very soon practically. Why for some tags to who are block element, they don't stick together. Even if the thing is just small, they will still take their own space and take the whole line. You must go to the next line. They possess everything. So without wasting time, let's go into practical so I can explain more as we are going to practical. Span element, as we say. Let me just give you one example of span element. Let's use link. Okay, let's use link. If you're going to do link, formula for link. This is link. So, this is link. But I don't want to take you to link. We are yet to study link. So don't worry, we'll get there. But let me just, let's just do something here. Let me do it. I think take you in here. Okay, you take us in here. And let me get another link again. So it should be like two link. Okay. Same thing. So we may make it link one, link two. Get it? Link one, link two. Let's say this is our link one. Link one. And this now becomes our link two. Okay? They are not taking any way. I'm just going to give an example. Don't worry, I'll show you how to do this for you. We're not going to link right now. Now, this is span element. And I told you that span element can only take up the space that they needed for that particular item that you put there to be. You can't take more than that space. So, if you portrait it, click on save as usual. And come over to your space. Do you see it? Link one, link two. Can you see my mouse? See my mouse? Link one, link two. I don't want us to be coming here right clicking. So, I want to. Let it be side by side. What I do, let me show what I did, okay? Okay, sorry, sorry. Before you follow me completely, I don't want you to be left behind, okay? This is what I did. I just reduce the space of this, okay? Reduce the space of this. Then come over here, right click, click on live server. I merely open, I also reduce the space of live server to uh, try to just cover this space so I, both of them can be together. So those of us will be clicking, I know that is the beginning. That's why we use one method. But now we are going and we are. We are going higher and higher now, so it should be side by side like this. So, I'm going to see what we are doing, okay? So, you see, 
link one and link two together, right? See link one, see link two. Okay, and you see a lot of things, two more. So can even have link three, link four, link five, they keep on going to when the line get feed up, when I go to the next one. But this is not like block element, okay? This is inline element. So let me now make it longer. So I know that it's not just because of, I can, let me all move link one. Let me just say 17. D -E -R -D -N 17. Teams. Training in Ashton. Training in action. You know, it's long now, right? It's long now. Let's see if you can see. You see it? Even at that, if you got the long way, many this one stop link to start on there. So they don't take they only take the space that they needed from seven team training in action. That is all the space they need. They only take up that space. Link two, this is they only take up that space. What about a uh, block element? Your div element. Block element is always on div element, if it's div container. So that block element, even if it's just ordinary one that you're right there, you just one, one, one. So you take up the whole space. Let me give you an example. This is div element. Let me give you a very good example of div element. Let's use a paragraph I've been using before. Paragraph. Let's say paragraph one. This is paragraph one, okay? Par one. So let's use paragraph one and see if we use that one to do div. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Paragraph one. Just just write it on your own. Okay. Sometimes computer we not understand it. D one then you close okay right and close on your own d1 let's just write par one i need another paragraph let's see if we really have the second one d2 d2 which is another word for paragraph two okay then write par two just pass time for paragraph par two so that there's just little thing that was written there b now let's see if we can let's see how we behave. Dress as usual, don't forget to save your work. Then come down, scroll down and see. Sorry, just let me remove div. Where is it? I forgot your question about it. So div, we put them together and see if it's one. Okay. Save or span. Don't want them to be on span so I can get span is over. We are going to para. Let's do another one. This time for paragraph. Sorry, all this D1 PT is just for this. This time for paragraph. Don't need to put D1 PT, okay? This is our first paragraph. Then we'll now write paragraph one. So should I do just your first paragraph, okay? Come down again. Put another paragraph. Then paragraph two. Okay, that is paragraph two. Then control S, okay? Scroll down. Mm -hmm. Sorry, you know, before I'm, I'm adding like div, I'm writing a, another thing. So, this, you know, this already, you know, paragraph, you have the formula for parag coding for paragraph. So, you see that power one, just power one, what happened? Power one, see power one here. Power one is on its own. Come to power two, power two, see power two, power two is here. The two, see, there's a lot of space there. Look, look at my mouse, see all the spaces. But are they after the space? No. What about paragraph? So, so this one can easily come down here, but it refused to. Why? Because it was. It's a block element. So block element take up the whole space. Block element take up the whole space. Why inline element some when it cannot take up the whole space? Only take the space that he really needed. But there's way you can convert block element to inline element and convert the inline element to block element. That's what I did before. That's what I was saying before now. So you can do the right thing. So you can actually convert this and they now put on their own space. But for now, know that block element take up the whole space. Why inline element? Take the only space that needed on a line. Because, like I told you, 
Both of them are what we call container. And you can use div and span to put your work together as a single container. And you also take the advantage of putting your work in a container. Sometimes all these things, both advanced level, you can use DS and some, we will not paint this thing. Let's start painting it, taking your website, using them, making them to look like website, the about page or this page, you know, aside all those things, articles. When you now start putting those things together like this, that is when you, you make use of containers as well. Because you can do something like this, we call containers. And in a container, sometimes your container can be in a div form, which is a blog form, or that can be an inline form, okay, which is a span form. So just get it that way and let's move on to the next class. We'll discuss more as we proceed. Once again, thank you for listening. Remember, comment is allowed, Patreon is allowed, Patreon is allowed, because I believe I'm not the only one who knows it all. You can ask your question, you can make suggestions, you can make criticism. That way I grow better, okay? And please, don't forget to support your brother. Smash the like button. Subscribe to my channel so I can just keep on growing. Every time I produce something like this, uh, YouTube algorithm will come, we, we inform me and other people as well because many people are checking on it. So that way, we progress together. Once again, thank you for watching my